Hi guys, welcome to again another episode of why I love this game and to be fair like a special guest. My favorite chef, not only because he's a good cooker, but also because he's a good human being. And I just love him. And to be fair, Michel, what a privilege to have you here. You know, I miss you after we had a little uh, challenge. No, I, w I won't talk about it. Let's not know? talk about that one. Today, I, 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 I will be nice with you. <laughs> so we are at sauce. Welcome to sauce. What sauce mean? Because in French, sauce, uh, c'est la sauce. La sauce. Yeah. Voilà. So, why? But because sauce is so important with food, I think, you know? Yeah. You, need, you need a bit of sauce to liven your life up. Exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> but this is a cooking, cooking school. Cooking school, yeah? okay. So I, I run this cooking school and we're in the Langham Hotel and uh, people come here and I teach them how to cook. And uh, then we have invited chefs that come in as well. And you invited we, chef? Yeah. Like, so why you, you didn't invite me? Oh, yeah. Because after all... You fancy <laughs> taking some lessons here? Yeah, I will, but you know, I don't think I need like too much lesson because the last time. I thought you were going to. No, I won't, I won't get into that, but no, you say like you invite chef and I think uh, you should like give me a call and I will come also because yeah. I, you know. See What's your speciality? As if I didn't know. No, you know, you know, my speciality is, is Bolognese, you know. <laughs> and <laughs> you would put that one on your pasta? <laughs> I can't believe that! <laughs> Thank you very much! What I say, he's gonna close his restaurant now and I'm going to be in charge! We need somebody else! I'm, I don't <laughs> like to lose. It's not easy, huh? This one. No! <laughs> no! It's over! It's over! I love this game! <laughs> okay, enough of the bolognese. Okay, no, 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 no. We, we, don't, we don't mention it anymore. So apparently here you can cook like a good souffle. Yes. Have you ever cooked souffle before? Never. I've got all the ingredients here for a raspberry souffle. So I, I think we're going to make a raspberry souffle. I'm going to show you how to make a raspberry souffle. Maybe, maybe you can do a little bit and I do a little bit and we'll see. No, and, and I'm, not, I'm not talking about a competition. No, no, we don't do competition anymore with you because I, I don't want to, to lose our friendship, you know. And I know you were a little bit upset last time. The chef is so angry, actually. <laughs> There's a similarity between sportsmen, mm. elite sportsmen like your good self, yeah. and chefs. We don't like losing. No, I know, I know. But to be fair, you know, when I went home, I was like, imagine I, I say to Michel to come to the, on the pitch and, you know, practicing some free kick. And he win, to be fair, Misha, I will be like destroyed. I will like, I will be so sad. So I, 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 I got you. I, I feel your pain. And you know what, Michel, like, I, I meet a lot of chefs, but what I love about you is like your energy. Mm. Uh, I can see like you're someone really positive. You're, you're enjoying life. You're always laughing, always making jokes like myself. So I, I really appreciate that. And where that inspiration, I will say, come from? Why you love life so much? Why? You know, you're only here once, yeah? Yeah. You're only on this, on, on this earth once, and you've got to make the most of it. And I think it's so important to think positive. I can hear the chefs downstairs in the kitchen. <laughs> it's so important to think positive in life. No, and, and, I, and I think, you know, sport is so important for your mental health, physical health, of course, and that's why I do a lot of sport. Mm. My relief is, is that I go for a run in the afternoon, maybe I'll, I'll run 5K, even 10K sometimes in the afternoon, and I come back and I feel refreshed. I'm physically tired, but mentally refreshed. Fresh, yeah. And it's so important. And I think that helps with positivity in life. You've got to. Well, uh, that, that's good. And Michel, how many like restaurants you, you have? Because we've been to La Gavroche, but in total, like you have only restaurants in UK or in France or in Italy or... No, no, no. no? Only, only in the UK. Uh, so here at the Langham Hotel, uh, we run the, the cooking school. We run the, uh, the main restaurant downstairs, the Landau. We've got a pub as well. We'll take, we'll take you down to the pub later wow. on. It's really, really cool. Okay. Really cool. And the, the chef there, James, he's an absolute 
crazy Man United fan. Oh, that's perfect. So you walk in the kitchen down there and it's like a shrine to Old Trafford. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> you, you have to sign the wall. You have yeah? to sign the wall for him. And where is it? He's not here today. No, he's on holiday. Guess where? Paris? No, in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I can't believe it's a holiday I was expecting, like Paris or Manchester. Wow. But you are the man, Manchester. And to be fair, you know what? It's the only place when I feel home is Manchester. Like I know some people say the weather is not the best, or, but the people are so nice and so warm. And I've been like to many different places, some like really expensive place and everything. But the place when I, where I feel home is like Manchester. Yeah. And I still, I still got my house over there. So yeah. yeah, yeah. So what do you think of things at the moment at Old Trafford? Where are we going? <sighs> Can we cut it? Yeah. Like, he, 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 he tried to ruin my day. No, we, we, we are, we are. No, we are, we are like in a really difficult moment. And when I see the fan now, the fan of Liverpool or Manchester City, and laughing at me, I'm like, enjoy, guys, because. Yeah. You, we make you suffer for so many years. <laughs> but it's true that now is your time Lille, to have a, a laugh at us. I think the, the, the fans, they were like really important in Manchester. I will tell you a, list, a little story uh, with Sir Alex Ferguson. Uh, we were in a, in a pre-season tour in America. We finished the session and all the fans, they were waiting in line. And one player passed, two players passed, and nobody signed. And sometimes, like, as a player, when we see, like, nobody signed, so everyone follow, we get in a bus. Mm -hmm. So we get on a bus. I was like this, looking at the window, and I saw, like, Sir Alex Ferguson signing each autograph. I was like, oof, guys, we're going to be in trouble. So <laughs> he came in the bus. Seriously, he gave the hair dryer, you know, the famous, like, he mm -hmm. swear, like, Get down on his bus. Now you're going to sign each autograph. Those people, you play for those people. Those people are paying you. Those people are, are make you famous. And so we went down and we signed like more than 100 autographs. And we go, you see, that was the, the mentality of Sir Alex Ferguson. It's the DNA. No, it's the DNA. So that's why I, I don't blame like the people that are in the club right now because they don't have any mentor. They don't have anyone to, to You know, men them. mentors are so important. I think we've all got a mentor. You know, I, I had a, a mentor, my, my first chef, mm. uh, when I was an apprentice at 16 years old. And uh, I think in many ways he was like Sir Alex Ferguson because he occasionally raised his voice, but you knew immediately when he was upset. And he was a leader, a true leader. He was the first one in the morning and the last one out at night. And we would have followed him through thick and thin. You know, it's important. We, I think we all have to have a mentor, somebody that we look up to and that yeah. we respect and that puts us in the right, the right direction. I completely agree. I always say like, I never scare of Sir Alex Ferguson, even if his hair dryer was scary, but my dad was also really scary. <laughs> but I was like scared or afraid to disappoint him. And yeah. that's, that's the difference. So that's why when I was like playing, I was like to make sure like I was like playing a good game because I wasn't scared of him, but it's just like I didn't want to disappoint him. Mm. And that's, that's the, the difference, and it's really, this is really important. And I want to talk about life. Good. Misha, have you got time like, to go in the gym, or you just eat healthy? Because I want to help also people, so what's yeah. your secret? So I think it's important. Sport is important. Now, I used, I used to run a lot of marathons. I've run 21 marathons before. Um, but you don't need to be that extreme. Mm -hmm. I always say to people, you know, even if it's only 20 minutes a day, get the heart going, Get, get, you know, starting to sweat all that. 20 minutes a day is enough. And then instead of taking the lift, when you go up to the, you know, in, in a hotel or wherever, take the, take the stairs, go by stairs. All those little bits help. And then food wise, I just eat well. I eat a good balanced diet. Uh, I'll have a glass of wine now and then, uh, not too much. Uh, I hardly ever drink spirits, occasionally a little whiskey, occasionally. Um, and then, Food-wise, eat good food. So, Misha, yeah, tell me, like, why, why United? Yeah, I'm mean, a die-hard United fan. Uh, and my, my all-time favourite player? Patrice Evra. <laughs> Thank you. He said it, so we can cut the, the interview. It's done. Uh, my all-time favourite player, Patrice Evra, just behind King Eric. 
Okay. Yeah, it's got to be that's, Kenya. That's, of course, of course, 100%. And I, I love that. That's perfect for me. That's yeah. more than enough. He, he was an incredible character, an incredible player, incredible talisman Everything. and a mentor. And a mentor, like you say. A true mentor. I will tell you, like Ferguson tell me the, the story when uh, he got to retire. Mm. So he knocked his office. Come on, son. <laughs> Came. He said, he said, I'm stop playing football. I want to be an actor. And he was like 30. True story. You're laughing. True story. Ferguson tell me, like, he, he think like, he said, like, come on, Eric. He said, and Eric said, no, 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 I'm, I'm really serious, boss. I'm retired. And so Alex Ferguson, is, he was like devastated. He tell me yeah. like it was so painful to, to hear that because you know Eric was like so important and such a, a mentor. Like I always tell my, my story, you know, for me, like when I play for, for, for United and I meet Eric, like I said, the most important thing he was to make sure like I respect his legacy. You know, he, I always say he opened the door for all the French people yeah. and to make sure I keep that door open. And when I meet him, and he told me, Patrice, you leave that door really open. Uh, you know, it was one of the best compliments in, in my entire life. So, yeah, King Eric is, is the one and the only one. But apart from King Eric, why? What, what memory you have about United? Well, I started following United back in 1976. Oh, okay, I was like seven years old in Senegal. Yeah, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> so 1976, uh, FA Cup final yeah. against Southampton. And uh, I was only 16 then. Okay. Yeah? And the board of directors and owners of Man United then, so um, would have been the Edwards family, mm. came to dinner at Le Gavroche uh, the night before. So they had a big, big meal, big dinner, and they enjoyed the meal so much, they left two tickets for the cup final. Yeah. So my dad took one of the tickets and brought it back home for me. Oh. So I took the ticket to go to the cup final, to the old Wembley. Mm. So it was the first time I'd seen Man United live and at Wembley as well. So it was yeah. just oh, unbelievable. Yeah, it, was like, yeah. it, it was just it's phenomenal. We lost 1-0, offside goal. <laughs> but that didn't, didn't spoil the, the whole mm. atmosphere, the buzz, the yeah. enjoyment. Yeah. And I was hooked. And so I followed Man United ever since. I've seen the lows. And I've seen the highs. And now we're kind of in a little bit of a transition period. Mm. Uh, but I can see, you know, for me, I, th I think this new team and with Oli at the wheel, it kind, yeah. it kind of, yeah, I, I, I can feel it. I, I, I want to believe in it. Yeah. And I see the youth coming through and I see that they're giving that, you know, they're giving it a chance. Uh, it's great to see Marcus there. It's great mm. to see, uh, you know, Greenwood, Greenwood having a chance. He's, he's going to be some player as well. And yeah. I love looking at Brandon Williams as well. Yeah, Brandon like, Williams, I love My him. God, that boy has got talent yeah. there. He got, he got the, even the Mancunian, like, f spirit, fire. Yeah. You know, I tell you something about uh, Brandon Williams. So, because I'm doing my coach badges in yeah, Man this Manchester is, this United. Is cool. So, yeah, this is really exciting. I, I go, like, um, like, I will say, like, two weeks per month to, to doing my, my course. And someone sent me a video about uh, Brandon, like the under 16. So I was watching it and I was like, wow. I, 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 he got something I really love. So I went to the training and actually it was uh, with the under 21 and they make me do a session as well with the under 21. So I was like, I can't believe like now we'll see him in real. So I see it, it was like tough and everything. And after the training session, I went to with the first team and I see Ole, I say, Ole, do you know about uh, that kid, Brandon William? Yeah, yeah, they say he's good, you have a good guy. I say, Ole, trust me, since I left, I can see he can play, he can play as a left back, you know? And he was like, yeah, I know. I say, yeah, please give him a, give him a chance. And to be fair, like, he's playing so well and I think so. he's not disappointing anyone. He's the future. Yeah, he's, I think, the, he's the future. I think in the current team, we have got the making of a really good team. It's just a few players missing. And a so, so as a, as a fan, you understand like you need to wait a little bit to be passionate or not? Because f fan, United fan, because they used to win like so much. So now I can We've feel like they're no passion. We've been spoiled. We have yeah. been spoiled. Yeah, yeah. You know, players like yourself yeah. who came in and, and were winning, winning, winning. That, yeah. and, you know, we've got to be patient. We've got to give them time. So guys, please listen to Michel. Junior, please, because 
you need to be passionate and that's why I try to say to the fan and it's, like it's not cooking. hard. It's not hard. It's like cooking, isn't it? A bolognese sauce takes time. You've got to simmer it a long time. There we go. You see? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we cook some bolognese because I can no. see he want to take his revenge. We are cooking a souffle and a souffle, it's the same. You know, when you put it in the oven, you've got to be patient. Yeah? Yeah. You've got to see it rise. And this is a souffle of what is strawberry? Raspberry. Raspberry? Yeah. I can't wait to... You want to... Should we, should we start? Yeah, can bit? we do a little bit, yeah? Yeah? You want to do a little yeah. bit of cooking? Oh, okay, chef. So, raspberry souffle. Okay. I've got some raspberry puree here. Mm -hmm. And I've just put a little bit of corn flour in it. So, it's like a, like a jam, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit in there. We're both going to do one, huh? Okay. Egg whites. Yeah. You put in the machine. You know how this works? No. Neither do I. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice one. Switch on. You want to put the sugar in? Yes. Okay. And we let that. I need this machine at home. A nice one? Yeah. Very, very nice. Well, that's it. So, egg whites are ready. Whew. Wow. And we know they're ready. <laughs> you see? That's the problem. That's, that's his problem, Michel. Now the mixing bit. Okay. Sorry, okay. <laughs> Sorry. A little bit of egg white in there. Okay. With the raspberry kind of jam, yeah? It's, yeah. And then you mix that in. But Misha, you, you like to cook for your, like, I asked you before, you like to cook for yourself, yeah? Yeah. But are you like cooking like dessert like that for yourself or? Yeah, you know? all the time. I mean, you know, um, I'm not gonna make a raspberry souffle every day. Yeah. Maybe for a special occasion. Yeah. You know, a, a strawberry or raspberry souffle or chocolate souffle. Yeah. It's, it's really nice. And you know, I didn't ask you, what's your favorite dishes, by the way? You know me, it's bolognese, but what about you? Uh, sorry, oops. It was, uh, what about you? Um, my favorite dish? Oh, maybe a cheese souffle. No. Yeah, a cheese souffle. Yeah. Fromage, eh? French, eh? A souffle au fromage. Oui. Oh, yeah. I never... You never had a cheese souffle before? No. You're gonna have to come to Gavroche and I make you a cheese. No, I will. I never have. It's yeah. I really have to okay, come to Gavroche. Stop mixing. Okay. okay. It smells good, huh? You can smell yeah. the raspberry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So now we add a little bit more, but not with the whisk. Mm. Now we now we use use one of these. There's one there. This one. Like a spatula, and you've got to fold it in like ah, this. Down. This okay. is the motion. Like this. Like this. That's it. Okay. And we're gonna make six, yeah. Oh. One for you, one for me, and then some for the crew, yeah? That's perfect. Okay. So then, you take some of the mix. And which, which age, Michel, you start cooking? Wow. Where, where that passion come from? Wow. Um, I started an apprenticeship at 16 in Paris. So 16, okay. Yeah, in a pastry shop. And, uh, but before that, I was almost born in a kitchen. My mother went into labor while she was helping my dad in a professional kitchen. So I very nearly popped out in a professional kitchen. Okay. But day one of my life, I was back in the kitchen because my father and mother didn't have money mm -hmm. to have a, a nanny or have care. So I was always in a professional kitchen from day one of my life. Okay. So I've always, always wanted to be a chef. Now you didn't do a good job then. You see, that's, that's, that's Michel being nice with me. <laughs> But it's no, I, fine. I, I, I tell, tell like, you I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, I'm honest. But, yeah, but you're too honest. You know, I, you can wait when the camera is cut <laughs> and you tell me. But no, you have to do your show and like it's, killing This isn't my show. This everyone. is your show. Ah, it's not. Today is your show now. But I want you to. I want, okay. I want this souffle to succeed. I want you to, to make a good yeah, souffle. Okay, but I don't. I want you to beat me. Okay. Okay. Come on. <laughs> you just put it in like you need to press so there are no holes, no air pockets underneath. You can even mm. tap it a bit, yeah? I will try my best to make sure you don't kill me again. Push down, that's it, and then all the way around. Okay. okay. I'll do one more. Okay, boss. 
Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we push it in. So, yeah. I don't think I put enough. Yeah, a little bit more. We're going to put more on anyway, don't worry. Yeah. Come on, Patrice. <laughs> Allez. Allez. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys, <laughs> he's saying bad word in French. Huh? <laughs> you have to put the subtitles in. Your then we'll put some raspberries in there. Okay. Okay. Some lovely, beautiful raspberries. I love raspberries. Now, if you wanted to do this a little bit more adult, you could put a little drop of whiskey in there or something. Mm. You know, if I was doing this for a Sir Alex, I would put a little bit of whiskey in there. Yeah. yeah. It's more about wine, but... <laughs> yeah, he loves his red wine. Yeah, he loves, loves his red wine. wine. There we go. Is okay, enough? yeah. Then, we take this. Pallet knife. And we put some more mix on top. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so you take more of the mix. Yeah, that's it. And you get it nice. I know, okay, now I feel it. Yeah, like this. Yeah, if, if, if I need a, a plaster at home, I'll give you a call. Yeah? No, don't leave. <laughs> uh, mind you, if you're doing it at home, you can lick them all that away. Okay. Not in a restaurant. No, I won't. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And Michel, we never talk about it, but what what was your feeling when you received your first Michelin star? Ah, uh, yeah, that's you know every year the Michelin guide comes out, and every year we are thankful. Okay. And you, you know you don't. It's not there for life. Every year you. Huh? It's not there for life. Every year. Oh they, wait, explain me because I didn't know. That. And and you know the. You, they can give them and they can take them. So, no. You know, every year you get reassessed. I, I always say to young chefs, don't cook for the Michelin Guide. Cook for yourself and cook for your guests. Yeah, of course. You know, that's, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then, you know, if the stars come, the stars come. You, you, but, but it's massive pressure. It's huge pressure. And, and some, some, some people deal with it and, and others can't. It's, it's tough, huh? It's very, very tough. No, I, I understand. Imagine it's like me. You give me one Champions League and, you know, every year I have to win it. And if I don't win it, you take it back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's history. That's last year. You, you've, always, you've always got to look forward. You're, you're playing, well, you're, you're cooking for the next guide, for the next, for the future. You know, you're only as good as your last plate of food. Like you, you, you're, you were only as good as your last game. Mm. Or even, you could take it even further back, you're only as good as your last tackle or your last pass. Yeah. Next step. Yep. Run your finger around the edge so it's nice and clean. So I can lick it now. Yeah. No. And what I do I is... I will change my finger because I, I lick this one, so... It doesn't matter. It's, this is yours anyway. Okay. Ah. And then what I do is I take my thumb and I just run around the edge like this. Just a little bit. Wow. Just a tiny bit. I'm glad I've been to the toilet and I didn't wash my hand. <laughs> That's too much information. And then... Mm -hmm. Look beautiful. It looks so, better than yours. Come on. Actually, Come on, guy. That, that looks cool. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see when it comes out of the oven, okay? Oh, I know, but don't be jealous. It's just... Uh, <laughs> so this, yeah, sure, yeah. just that little bit there, helps the souffle to rise really straight. So we do that again on all three of them, yeah? Yeah. Just a little bit around there. Mm. Okay. Wow, I can't believe it. Mama, I made it. Mm. I'm making a souffle with Michel. It tastes good, no? It tastes very good. Yeah. So. My three on the right. W why are you... <laughs> this guy. Your three on the left, no? Huh? <laughs> this guy. Yeah, I play on the left. <laughs> yeah. So it's fine. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Oh. And it's say, say no competition, no challenge. Eh? <laughs> what a funny guy. Okay, so we go in the oven? Yeah. Let's go. So now we have to wait about seven, eight minutes. Seven, eight minutes, so we have time to talk about something. With the souffle, I've got a little bit of raspberry sauce. And I like shortbread biscuits. You like shortbread biscuits? I don't know what it is. It's like a biscuit. Ah, okay. With some coconut. You like coconut? I'm okay with coconut. Okay. Well, no, I, I, I like. Yeah. No, like too much, but yeah. So okay. what I do is I just break these up, and we're gonna put that on top. So it's gonna be like a crumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now we need to wait just eight minutes. You see them? You see the ones on the right? Yeah. 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 No, you 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 switch. No, no, no. No, no, no. no they they, they are no, mine. No no, no, no. Yours are on the left. No, no, no. Mine no, are on the you right. You switch. I saw you. No, I didn't switch. <laughs> you switch. The, mine were on the left. And now they are on the right because I, I was like looking carefully the no, way no, no. you put the. No. No? 
<laughs> hey, we need to check on Val because uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you turn. Can someone like, do you have the VAR here? Yeah. We really need to check because Michel is, is playing too much with me. So Michel, you know, I think when you're a chef, that's why you want also to, to give to your, your children. And I heard mm. like your, your daughter, she's a very good chef. Yeah, yeah, Emily, she's... Uh, Better than me? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's not about me, it's about Emily. So Emily, if you see, I'm better than you. <laughs> you know, I'm only joking. Come she on, is, so where? She is an amazing chef, okay. amazing. She's worked in France, she's worked uh, uh, up and down the country, and uh, she now has her own restaurant in Notting Hill. She have her, yeah. how old she is? Yeah, she's 28. And she got yeah. her, wow. yeah, her own restaurant. And she's married to an Italian, okay. so she does some nice pasta dishes. So, wow. so yeah, it's really, really cool. I'm really proud. Really proud. Where is the restaurant? Notting Hill, so it's on the Nothing corner. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Like. Corner of um, Westbourne Park and Ledbury Street. Can you give me the, the address or send me the address? I'll give I you will, a card. Uh, definitely, you. I will. Uh, yeah. I will. Uh, you should. You should got it. It's I really, will. really cool. Really okay. cool. And she's a huge Man United fan. You know, so, I I used to take yeah. her there to, to Old Trafford, uh, sometimes even midweek, and uh, my wife was upset. She said, "Yeah, she has to go to school yeah. the next day." I said, "Look, come on." So we used to drive up maybe on a Wednesday, watch a Champions League game, um, and, then, and then she'd sleep no, on the way down. I will definitely, I need to go again to La Gavroche, and I need to go to the restaurant uh, of your daughter. In so Miami. it's called Caractère. Ca because she has ooh, lots, lots of, of character. character. <laughs> you don't mess around with my daughter. You don't mess around with me, but you don't mess yeah, around no. with my daughter, I tell you. I can, yeah, Caractère. Caractère. That's a good one. Elle en a plein. Elle en a plein. Oh, yeah. well, I love that. Yeah. And so, so Michel, I know it's... Don't say your restaurant, but what is, what is your favorite restaurant you have been? Come on. Uh, Come on. Obviously my daughter's, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Caractère, caractère. Yeah. No, you know, I mean, I'm very lucky. I've, I've been to places all over the world. Um, I mean, I, I love Monaco. I yeah. mean, I know you've been to Monaco. Yeah, four and, years, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the Louis Cans in Monaco is, is simply mind-blowing. Um, but... It's not, sometimes, you know, it's not, it's not about how much you spend or the location. Yeah. It's about who you eat with. And moments in time are so important. So with friends and family, just that moment. So simple food, a nice glass of wine maybe, and your friends and your family. And it could be just heaven, the best meal on earth. I love that, yeah. I completely agree. It depends with who you share in those, those yeah, moments. Yeah, because food is about sharing. And it's about people coming together at the table. Uh, and, and friendship and values and love. That's, that's what food is. And to, to be fair, Michel, like you're talking about like some, sometime like some expensive restaurant and you pay and the food is not good. I'm like so disappointed yeah, yeah. about that. Like, are you the same? Like when you oh, go yeah. to a place and it's expensive and the food is not quality, you'll be like, oh, you know, what's going on? Yeah, but you see, there's value for money in, 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 you know, at all levels, all levels. Let, no, me, but the, let, me, let me check the souffle. Everyone check the souffle. The, the mine they are on this. Mine are they're ready. Mine are there. Woo! I've got a cloth. Pass me the cloth, please, Patrice. Thank you. You're welcome. Here we go. Okay. Uh, mine uh, are uh, the right. Uh, like I know him. Show him. You see, it, 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 it twists again. I it didn't twist it. You twist. We don't know where is the way. Where, where are the left? No. Listen. No. 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 This looks like someone. This, this, this one is not right. Okay. Uh, this one's good, but this one's the best. Exactly because that's mine. mine. Now, come on! Oh my God, Michel! That's mine! Wow! To be fair, whoa, that's hot. To be fair, Patrice, I think they're all good. We did well. Eh? They are really, really <laughs> nice. Huh? Wow. Really cool. Okay, so you what we do it, now? Like, hey, zoom on it, eh? <laughs> yeah. We put a little bit of crumble on top, which gives you the texture. A little bit of sugar. Do you want to put a bit of sugar on top? Yeah. Just a little bit, yeah. Take this one for you, because this one's beautiful. Look at that, man. And you did it. I can't believe that, man. I'm so proud. Mama, I made it, mama. A little bit of raspberry sauce. Put a little bit of raspberry sauce on. Wow. I'm living my best life. There you go. A little bit of raspberry sauce. Wow. Mm. Cheers. C'est bon? C'est parti. I think it's a draw. Wow. Okay, see you later, guys. <laughs> it was nice to meet you all. Mm. 
Not too sweet. Well, it's perfect. Because it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, guys, you need to try it. For your first souffle? No, it's good, no? For my first souffle. Like, seriously, uh, I will tell my kids, like, the first souffle I had with Michel Roux, having that privilege, and it's just amazing. No, but I'm not joking. Guys, it's, it's like, it's very good. I'm really impressed. <laughs> like, it is, like, so quickly, boom, boom, bam, bam. And look. And so fast. You know, I don't, I don't even want to, to end. Because he's, I'm enjoying so much. But no, Michel. Mm. Wow, let me wait. I just want to say, mm. take my time. Yeah. Yeah, because when we cut after, they're going to say, oh, Patrice, you come. you're not allowed to eat the souffle, so. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for this mm. quality moment. And like I say, you're such a great human being. So I'm really happy like, to share this morning with you. And of course, this souffle is just amazing. So, did you have fun? I love. I love <laughs> this game! <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, it's been Guy. great. It's been great. Been great fun. Always great fun to, mm. to catch up with you and to share a moment. Mm. Don't be jealous, guys. I just want to share. <laughs>